hey everyone, Andrew here, bringing you another video review, and today we're going to be doing Flashpoint, Wonder Woman, and the Furies, number one. Take a look at this comic cover right here. Now, I've said this before in my Emperor Aquaman review, and I'll say it again here. Flashpoint has an incredibly interesting universe, with many different stories to tell. However, unfortunately, in the main Flashpoint title, we really don't get to see that much of the universe. The main Flashpoint title focuses on Barry Allen's story, rather than the universe itself, the world itself. So one must actually go out and buy the spin-off slash satellite titles to really enjoy this new Flashpoint universe. Now, I usually don't pick up spin-up titles from big crossover events, but for Flashpoint, I'm going to make the exception. And I'm picking up three. Reasons why? Well, one is I'm picking up Batman Dark Knight Avengers, because Brian has Morello on it, and he's a pretty good writer, and it's a good escape from the general Flashpoint universe, and just having a fun story. And it's Batman. Two is Wonder Woman in the Furies, and three is Emperor Aukman. Why Wonder Woman the Furies and Emperor Aukman? Well, for a few reasons. One is that in the whole entire Flashpoint universe, Emperor Aquaman and Wonder Woman are probably the biggest players. They're in a huge war with each other that's basically consuming Europe and is affecting everyone else in the Flashpoint universe. It's talked about throughout most of the titles. Two, it's that these characters have changed so much but still staying true to themselves that it makes it so that there's interesting characters to read and interesting stories to tell. Three, it's probably the best way to get a feel of this Flashpoint universe, seeing that this is the biggest thing going on. It kind of ties in what I said to number one, in that they're the biggest players in this Flashpoint universe. But really, if you want to learn more about Flashpoint's Earth, you're going to have to read it in these titles. And lastly, Wonder Woman and Aquaman just kick ass. They're awesome characters, I love them, and you should too. Anyways... Going into Wonder Woman and the Furies number one, I was hoping that it would complement Emperor Aquaman number one, because Emperor Aquaman number one was a good story. They gave us a general feel on how the world is, but it left some gaps there, some stuff that needs to be told. I originally thought that these answers were going to be filled during Emperor Aquaman number two, but that hasn't come out yet, and actually many of the answers are filled in Wonder Woman and the Furies number one. Now, if you look at this cover right here, you're automatically going to think, oh, this is going to be Wonder Woman going around with the alternate universes of the Hawk Girl and Wonder Girl and Donna Troy, and they're just going to cause uh, trouble, shenanigans and tomfoolery. However, that's not the case. Actually, all of this comic takes place 14 years ago, or roughly around 14 years ago, and tells the tale of exactly what went wrong between Aquaman and Wonder Woman. Because, see, you got to understand is in this universe, Aquaman and Wonder Woman were friends at one point. Actually, they were so good of a friends that they were actually going to get married to each other the form of an alliance of sort between their two nations, the Mascara, the Amazons, and Atlantis, the Atlanteans. However, something goes wrong. There's a lot of people pulling strings on both sides that don't want to see this marriage happen. And a big tragic event happens to these two individuals that cause them to become incredibly bitter with each other. And of course, start war. So, let's get into the good, the bad, and whether or not you should get it. Good. Well, this does a beautiful job in complimenting Emperor Aquaman number one and filling in those missing gaps. Exactly what went wrong with Aquaman and Wonder Woman, who they were before they became what they are, and just on a whole, filling in those, well, missing gaps. That's a great point to this. Two is you really get a good sense of these characters. I mean, on one hand, they're very basic, but what is basic about them works so well. You have the chivalrous Aquaman, you have the adventurous Wonder Woman. Uh, these characters really are youthful, energetic, and somewhat naive, but although these are basic traits, they're enjoyable traits. The art on the whole was good. I mean, it didn't overall wow me, but it did pull off the job. It didn't do anything bad. It didn't offend me at all. The characters looked, for the most part, true to form. And I did like the costumes that they used for the alternate universe. Like Aquaman's costume before he becomes Emperor Aquaman. And, well, you know, just Wonder Woman wearing traditional Themyscarian gowns. I mean, it on a whole looked good. Bad. 
Well, the major bad to this is that I really did want them to fill in the gaps of exactly what happened between Wonder Woman and Aquaman, but at the same time getting a little bit of Wonder Woman during this universe. The only really thing that we've seen of Wonder Woman right now at this point in time in the Flashpoint universe is in Flashpoint number two, I believe, where she's going around and hunting down Stephen Trevor. That's the only really thing that we get of Wonder Woman at this point. In Wonder Woman The Furies, number one, it's all the past. So there's no present material. The other bad thing is that you're going to have to pick up both Aquaman and Wonder Woman if you really want to get the full story from both of them. I almost wish that they didn't do an Aquaman and Wonder Woman title and did a title called Aquaman vs. Wonder Woman and have it be more than three issues, maybe five or six, so that you get the full story from both sides. And it would also actually be pretty cool if they did it like that. You wouldn't have to constantly go back and forth and read them in a certain order. It'd be very streamlined and set. I mean, you pick this up alone, you're probably not going to enjoy it as much as if you picked it up with Emperor Aquaman number one. So that's a big downside. You're going to have to get yet another title to enjoy this. So if you're a Wonder Woman fan and you just want another Wonder Woman story to kind of step back and enjoy, kind of like what I'm doing with Batman right now, you're not going to get that. Because you're going to need to read Aquaman. On a whole, whether or not you should get it. Well, I have to say, this was not quite as good as I thought it was going to be. Yes, it did fill in the gaps that I wanted it to. But that's all it really did for me. There was very little action in this that was enjoyable. I mean, there was action, but it was kind of mess and mess up. And like I said, this is heavily relying on Emperor Aquaman. Which Emperor Aquaman, in turn, is relying on... Wonder Woman and the Furies. Now, this may not necessarily be case later on in the set of stories that is going to be told from these characters. For all we know, issues 2 and 3 for both respected comics could go off and not need to rely on each other. But at this point in time, with both of them at issue number 1, they do rely on each other. So if you want to get the full story for Wonder Woman or the full story for Aquaman, you're going to have to pick up each other. It really comes down to if you want to pay an extra $3 a month for the titles. Honestly, when it comes down to it, though, if you're going to get this, get this with Emperor Aquaman. They're both enjoyable titles. They both complement each other very well. That is a fact. However, I would not get either of them alone. So if you're going to get this, get this with Aquaman. But don't get it alone because you're probably not going to enjoy it. On a whole, though, it was a mediocre comic, mediocre issue that really only just filled in the gaps. So it's really up to you on what you want to do, but I do recommend getting this if you're getting Aquaman. Plain, flat, and simple, because both of them, I think, will come out to be actually good spin-off stories. So with that said, I'm going to end this video here. Oh, before I go, uh, my comic book store is actually handing out pins. Flashpoint pins to those who buy the comics. Now, I've been buying the comics, but I haven't been taking the pins, so he let me take some for free. I got the Batman one, and I got the Wonder Woman one. He said to take one of each, but I didn't feel like doing that, because I, I've only been getting Flashpoint 1, 2, Emperor Aquaman, Batman, and Wonder Woman. So I eased up a bit, and really, in the end, the only other one I want is Aquaman. So anyways, like I said, this is Andrew saying, Peace out for now.